This recipe was developed to pair with wine for a January wine pairing weekend event, pairing wines with Asian dishes. I went through a dozen recipes and several videos compiling my recipe for red Thai curry. Once I created my recipe, I went shopping online and, well, pandemic and all, there were several things I wasn't able to find, like dried shiitake mushrooms, kaffir lime leaves, lemongrass, Thai basil. I'll let you know in the recipe when we could add these things. With this recipe, it's always best to chop everything in advance. Dice the shallots. Slice the carrots. Broccoli, or in this case, broccoli rob. Cauliflower. Sweet potato. Green onions. And the red and yellow pepper. Mince the garlic. Peel and grate the ginger on a microplane. Mushrooms, ah. In my case, I could only find stuffed mushroom caps, so we unstuffed them and sliced them. I happen to have mushroom stock left from another recipe that we could use. Drain the can of bamboo shoots and put them in a small pot with some water. Boil these for five minutes, then drain. This is gonna reduce the bamboo smell. Now we're ready to start cooking. Heat two tablespoons of sesame oil in a Dutch oven. Add as many whole chili as you like. We like things mild, so I just added one. Then you can add your shrimp. Cook this for two to three minutes until the shrimp are opaque. Then remove this to a plate. Add a bit more oil and cook the shallots for two minutes until soft. Then you can add the carrots, broccoli or broccoli rob, cauliflower and sweet potato. Cook it for three to four minutes, then put that aside on a plate. Pour half of your coconut milk into the Dutch oven. Heat it until you start to see it separate at the edges. Then add the red curry paste and continue to cook. This should fry up. If you want to boost your spices, this is the place to do that. Adding more chili, ground coriander, or ground turmeric. Add the tomato paste, lemongrass. I had dried lemongrass as I couldn't find the fresh stuff. Garlic and ginger. Cook that for three minutes until fragrant. When this begins to separate, you'll see orange oil on the edges. Add the remaining coconut milk and the mushroom stock, then bring it to a boil. Then add the fish sauce and the sugar, and if you have kefir lime leaves, tear those and add them here. This is gonna add a bright citrus note to the dish. Now add the mushrooms, bamboo shoots, shrimp, and your vegetables and let this simmer for five to 10 minutes so it can absorb all the flavors and make the potato tender. Add the red and yellow pepper and cook this for one minute. If you've got broccoli rob leaves like I had or even kale, you can add those now also. Remove this from the heat, add your basil and spinach, add the lime juice and stir. Serve this with jasmine rice and garnish it with lime slices, Thai basil, cashew, green onions, hot sauce if you like it. We paired this with a Gewürztraminer from Monterey County, the Fetzer 2019 Shaley Loam Gewürztraminer. This wine had notes of lychee, Asian pear, honeysuckle, and the delicate note of roses. It's medium sweet but has acid to balance it and keep it from being cloying. The spicy notes of many Thai dishes are mellowed by the slight sweetness of the wine, and the aromatics in the wine elevate the food.